Have you ever wondered if you can enjoy a drink while taking antibiotics? The internet is filled with conflicting advice, and it can be hard to know what's safe, especially when taking a common antibiotic like doxycycline. Today, we're diving deep into the effects of mixing doxycycline with alcohol, and if it's ever a good idea, let's get started. Doxycycline is a type of antibiotic doctors prescribed for a wide range of bacterial infections. It's a lifesaver for many people, but like all medications, it's crucial to understand how it works and how it interacts with other substances, like alcohol. When you drink alcohol, your liver gets to work filtering it out. Doxycycline is also processed by your liver. Combining the two gives your liver a double dose of substances to break down. This double whammy could leave you feeling worse and increase the likelihood of unpleasant side effects. The biggest risk in combining alcohol and doxycycline is that it can make the antibiotic less effective. Alcohol can interfere with how the antibiotic is absorbed and used by your body. When your antibiotic isn't working properly, that infection can stick around longer or even get worse. And nobody wants that. The truth is, there's no one size fits all answer when it comes to alcohol and doxycycline a healthy person having one drink occasionally while on a short course of meds might feel just fine but if you drink a lot regularly or have other health conditions your doctor might be more concerned while having one or two drinks while on doxycycline usually isn't catastrophic it can definitely put a damper on your day both alcohol and doxycycline can irritate your stomach, leading to nausea and vomiting. They can also make you feel dizzy and lightheaded, which can increase your risk of falls or accidents. And if you're prone to headaches anyway, mixing alcohol and doxycycline is a recipe for a real migraine. On top of that, both substances can make you feel drowsy and slow down your reaction time. So that night out with friends you were looking forward to might end up with you feeling queasy, woozy, and wishing you'd stayed home in bed. Now, it's important to emphasize, severe reactions to mixing doxycycline and alcohol are rare, but they do happen. If you experience things like hives, difficulty breathing, or severe vomiting, get medical help right away. Remember, your health should be your top priority, Avoiding alcohol while on doxycycline will give your body the best chance to fight off that infection quickly and effectively. Think about it this way. While you might miss out on a drink or two, you'll be back to feeling your best much faster. That means more energy for fun activities, socializing with friends, and crushing your workouts. In the long run, a little patience is definitely worth it for your overall health and well-being. Be upfront with your doctor about your typical alcohol intake. This will help them recommend the safest and most effective course of treatment for you. Open and honest communication with your healthcare team always leads to the best outcomes. Your liver is a resilient organ, but it's not invincible. Combining alcohol and doxycycline, especially over a long period, can put unnecessary stress on it. The risk of liver damage increases significantly if you already have liver problems, drink heavily, or are taking other medications that also strain the liver. If you're used to having a drink to unwind, remember there are plenty of other ways to relax and have fun. When you're on antibiotics, why not use the opportunity to explore something new? Catch up with friends over coffee or smoothies. Try that hobby you've always been curious about, or just curl up with a good book or movie. Your body will thank you for it. We all make choices about our health. It's okay to decide having a celebratory drink is worth a slightly lowered antibiotic effect. For example, if you're feeling well enough towards the end of your treatment. However, if you're facing a serious infection, you'll want that antibiotic to be working at its absolute best. Sometimes that means making small sacrifices for the bigger picture. I hope this video has helped you understand the risks of mixing doxycycline and alcohol. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, always talk to your doctor or pharmacist. And hey, if you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And feel free to drop a comment below if you have personal experiences or things you'd like to add. Stay healthy and informed.